morning. It's um, here I am in uh, Longley Woods. It's Sunday morning. It's the 9th of June, and uh, I'm out before it starts to rain. It's supposed to rain today, so I'd like to really enjoy Longley Woods up here, just above from Shearwater, as thousands of people do. Um, the difference is that thousands of us take our stuff home with us when we go. Now then, I'm doing this video for someone called Charlotte. I know you're called Charlotte because you've left some information on a holiday uh, request form. So you've left quite a bit of information there. So I'm going to put it in my pocket because you know what it's like with data protection and all that sort of stuff. You don't want people getting any, any information about you. Basically, I, I assume, I can only assume that you and maybe your friends and your family have enjoyed a nice picnic during your annual leave, which was the 31st of May to the 7th of June, as it's on your annual leave request form. Um, and so I hope you had a really good time because it's really good. But the thing is, when you do something like this, and you might not know this, so this is why I'm saying this. When you do something, when you have a picnic, yeah, just bring a bag or something and take it back home with you because there's no rubbish collection that comes along this, because this is like a track, yeah. You can see it's a track track down there and so they don't have rubbish collection down here so I don't know where you live or anything but in Wiltshire that's the system so what happens in case you don't know but what happens is that like for instance our collections on a Thursday and you'll have like a black bin near your house or wherever you live and then what you do is you like you put your rubbish and stuff in the bin and it's it, tell you what it's an amazing system then these people come along like well we call them bin men bless them and they're they're really hard working they get paid as well to do your job and then they pick up the rubbish like that that you've put in your bin in your house or, or wherever you live so if you don't know how that system works that's what it is but I kind of assume and again I'm only assuming that if you've got um an annual leave request from from an employer that you're possibly paying tax or perhaps if you don't pay tax um in the household that you live in someone would be paying what they call council tax and so forth um, and what's interesting is part of that council tax is that facility um, so you pay for that so you are probably paying for that indirectly um, so basically if you leave it there you, you you've paid for something you've paid for a service and then you're not using it so I would suggest that next time just take it with you and put it in your bin because it's so much easier now as you can see I'm walking away from it what I'm going to do is, um, my vehicle is just up there, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe about 100 metres, so it's not far, luckily I'm quite fit, I'm quite able person, and I imagine you probably were as well if you were to walk down this area, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up to my vehicle, I'll pick up a bag, come back down, pick it up for you, right? and I'll put it in my bin, the, the grey bin thing that I was telling you about, alright, so... Um, now, I'm not going to say your name, because what's the point? But I hope you get the stupidity of this video. Take your stuff home with you. If it's not you, it's your friends. Take your stuff home with you, love. We all enjoy this. But we all enjoy it because we want to be in the environment and enjoy it for what it is. And not see your stuff that you've left behind. I don't know. Maybe I'm a grumpy old cow. Maybe it's an age thing. And maybe we are made up of a different genetic pool. And in that, I mean people who do and people who don't. It's quite simple. Have a good day.